A one-eyed dart champion says he is ready to come out of retirement. Charles Gilliard, who is legally blind, shocked a lot of people many years ago when he competed in world championship competitions. And tonight we take you inside the story of this blind dart champion. Dan Rascone joins us live here in the newsroom. Dan, how does he play darts with limited eyesight? Yeah, Sean and Chris, that's a big question here. Of course, that's what makes his story so amazing. Charles, who has one glass eye, says at one time he couldn't even read the scoreboard. But somehow he kept winning. Now he's trying to get his game back. I like working here at Smith's. 42-year-old Charles Gillard loves his job, and he's very dedicated. Whether he's restocking shelves, so how you doing today? Or checking. Do you have a Smith's card? Customers out. Watching him work, it's hard to believe that Charles is legally blind. His right eye is glass and his left eye gives him just enough sight to get by. So I have to look both sides to, to bag so I don't miss the bag. That's why it's also hard to believe that Charles, a grocery worker, <laughs> is also Charles, the one-time world dart champion. People were like, no way, he can't do this, and then people were shocked. Charles' glory days were from 2002 to 2005, when he placed in the World Team Dart Championship competitions in Las Vegas. His highest ranking was fifth place, in 2005, he made the front cover of the Bullseye magazine. At that time, his sight was even worse. So I had to ask the players what the score is because I couldn't see. <coughs> People were saying, how you do it with one eye? That was many years ago. Now this one-eyed dart player <coughs> is hoping for a comeback story. I want to go back and play darts and go travel around the world to play against anybody I wanted to play. That's not bad. Charles admits right now. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. But he says he's anxious to start training again and try and get his throwback. His secret weapon? Listen to the song Believe by Cher. This puts him in the zone. Because I believe that I can do it. That's my goal. And that's how I win. Charles has overcome a lot to get where he's at. He was born with cataracts and ended up losing his sight in his one eye when he was seven years old. So I had to suffer all my life through school and I, had, I got held back for two years in school because I couldn't see, I couldn't read, I couldn't do English, I couldn't do any homework. Now he's teaching. I hold it, I hold it like this and yeah. I just kind of flick it with my wrist or my Others arm. Play. Let's see if this one will actually hit the board. Here we go for a 20 or an 18. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go for a bullseye. Ooh. Getting back his game is not going to be easy, but these trophies also didn't come without a price to pay. I'm thinking positive, not negative, and I wanted it to be challenged that other people can do it too, like me. Yeah, and he is always very positive guy there. In order to make it back to Vegas, Charles has to start scoring some serious points in local competitions. He's hoping to compete next month in the state darting competition. In order to do that, he says he's going to have to start practicing several hours a day. For more information on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to our website, KUTV.com. Click on Inside the Story. But just pretty amazing guy mm -hmm. and a very, like, upbeat, positive kind of guy, too. And he likes Cher. <laughs> Who doesn't Cher, love Cher? Right. Believe. It works. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Thanks Dan. Dan.